to another episode of Stella's Meza. On today's episode, we're going to be going to the Kenyan coast, Mombasa, where we'll be making some uh, Kenyan pancake made out of rice, and it's called bibibis, that's pool, and one of them, singular, kibibi. Now, for this, you will need some, uh, you need to prepare ahead of time. What I did is I had two cups of basmati rice that I went ahead and cleaned until the water ran clear, and then I went ahead and let, let it soak in some water in a covered container overnight, all right? So once, once that was done, this morning I went ahead and took that rice, I drained it out, I put it in a blender, I put two cups of coconut milk in the blender, and then I also put a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of yeast, This the kind of yeast that I use. This works really fast, you don't need to uh, activate it. Now remember, make sure it's this, rapid rice, because it's that dry one that you need to put in water and a little bit of sugar and then let it froth up to put in your batter, do not use that, or it'll not, it'll not work. This is what you need, okay? So I use a teaspoon of that, and then I put two uh, tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and then to that, I am going to add uh, half a teaspoon of cardamom powder, okay? Now, I did this ahead of time because I did not want to, um, like, turn the blender on, but what you do, you put it in the blender, and you puree it and you make sure that it's nice and smooth, that there are no bits and pieces of rice in there. Just make sure, do it, if you have to do it and pause, do it and pause for the sake of the, mo the motor of your um, blender, do that, but make sure once you look to it that it's nice and um, creamy. Now this is a consistency, like it went ahead and, and um, I let it sit out so that the yeast can work for about an hour and then I went ahead and deflated. There were some air bubbles at the top, that's why you see that risen slightly, but I went ahead and deflated. That's why there's that mark around my mixing bowl, okay? So to that I am going to add half a teaspoon of cardamom powder. I'm just going to put it in there. And you can tell by the smell that the yeast was already working. So you want to make sure that you give the yeast time to activate. That one hour is very crucial. Okay, one hour more is fine. And then a whole egg that I went ahead and uh, beat up slight, slightly. I'm just going to add that to the mix. And to that, I will add this three quarter cups of sugar, just granulated sugar, regular granulated sugar. Now those I will not be putting in, I already put it in, I just let them sit out there for the purpose of showing them to you. Now the reason why we soak that rice is so that it can be nice and tender so that when you decide to, when you put it in the blend, it's not going to take too long. Alternatively, you can use rice flour, okay? You can use that instead of uh, the rice, in which case you wouldn't have to grind it in the blend. Actually, you might have to do it just to mix the ingredients together, or you can use a whisk to do that instead. Okay, so everything's nice and mixed. Now, these pancakes... They have their own, you see the way you go to like IHOP or some pancake house and they give you syrup, maple syrup. Well, these have their own syrup and it's made out of coconut milk. Now, that's what I have in this pan right here and I put on medium heat. It's um, two cups of heavy uh, coconut milk and the one I use in here was also heavy. Try to stay off the light one because the, the effect won't be the same, it won't be as rich. So, two cups of heavy coconut milk and I have it on medium heat. And to that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Just going to sprinkle it in there. And then a quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder. And I'm just going to stir that with my whisk here. Make sure everything is nice and mixed. Now, the purpose of heating this up is to make it nice and thick. So you're going to let it heat up until it's nice and thick. At that point, you're going to turn it off you're going to put it in a separate plate. So what's going to happen is, as I heat this up, let me turn this on, I'm going to turn this on medium heat, just in preparation to start cooking the pancakes. As I cut the pancakes, I'm going to put them in this plate. But before that, what I'm going to do is drizzle some of this, about a quarter cup of this mixture, in this plate, so that each time I cook a, a pancake, I put it in here, I kind of slather it in that uh, syrup, and then I'm going to reserve the rest, which you're going to pour up over the uh, cooked pancakes, okay? So, this time it's thicken up, good, and then I'm going to add around a quarter, it depends on how sweet you want your syrup, I'm going to add a quarter um, cup of 
sugar. First, let me start with an eighth and see what it tastes like. I'm going to taste it. Turn that down a little. And if it's not enough sugar in there, I'm going to add the other eighth to make a quarter cup. Okay. Now you can use raw sugar for this. If you have some dietary concerns, let's add a little bit more. Now remember, coconut milk in itself has a little bit of sugar in it. So you don't want to make it too, too sweet or it's going to be cloying. And that's not going to be good. Not a good look. So I'm just going to let that cook. Once it starts bubbling and it's thick, I'm going to turn it off. Let me try that again and see what we're working with. A little bit more. And my pan's heating up here very well. Now, I know there'll be people out there who are um, on a gluten-free diet who might ask if they could omit the flour in the batter or the syrup. I'm sure you could do that in the syrup, like you can omit it. What I would do just to thicken it is maybe add um, a tablespoon of um, cornstarch in place of the all-purpose flour. And then over here, I'd probably do the same, two tablespoons cornstarch to... Um, so that way you don't have to use all-purpose flour. I've never tried it before, so this is just a suggestion. This is what I would do if I was uh, on a gluten-free diet and I was trying to make the same recipe. Okay, Okay. so we're just going to let that cook. Let's try that one more time. Perfect. We're going to let that cook, and then I'm going to come over here. Now, for this, you will need to cook. I use ghee. You can use coconut oil if you like, but I find that this gives it a nice, nutty flavor. And I'm just going to use it, I'm going to put a little bit on the pan, just a tiny bit, just to start it off so I can start cooking the package. So I'm going to melt that in the pan. You see how little that is? And that's a nonstick pan, so I don't have to worry about just a small amount, nothing excessive. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my batter, and then you can use a ladle if you like, like a ladle full, but I'm just going to use this thing, this um, mixing bowl has a sprout, so that makes it easier for me to work. So I'm going to pour that in there. I'm going to set it back over here. And then once I see the little like holes, you know, like when a pancake's cooking, the little holes that appear, which means the other side is cooking, is good. I know it's time to turn, but right before I turn, I'm going to take the rest of this um, ghee and just kind of put it over top of it and then flip it over. And then I'm going to cover it and let it cook until it's a nice brown color. Now, they, these, they're not going to brown like the way a regular buttermilk pancake would. It's going to be slightly darker than that. Don't panic. It's not burnt. That's just how they look when they're cooked, okay? But they taste fabulous. It might take a little bit of time. You can see it's starting to bubble. Just like a, a, a normal pancake, when you see holes on, on one side, you know that it's starting to flip it over. So we're going to do that. And these are good for breakfast. You can have them with 10 o'clock tea, 4 o'clock tea, or uh, any cut coffee, you know, just as, as a snack or breakfast um, side dish. You see that? They're starting to harden it around the edges, which means they're coming along pretty good. All right. Now, in Kenya, we have, we also have crepes, version of crepes, and we also have savory crepes. So in one of these videos, I'm going to do that savory, savory crepes, with, which have uh, green onions in them. Those are so good. So you, if to have breakfast pancakes, they don't always have to be sweet. Just a way to let you know they don't, don't, don't always have to be sweet. Now, let me check on this here. I'm going to turn that up a little, just on medium heat, I lowered it to medium low. I want it nice and thick. And please remember to pay attention to what kind of yeast you're using. If you use, if you use the other kind of yeast that you have, the dry yeast, make sure you activate it before you use it. Don't just pour it into the batter, it will not work. And then you wonder why. It's not the recipe that has a problem, it's that you use the wrong, um, the wrong kind of um, yeast. Right, now that's coming along. Now the next one I'm going to pour slightly more just to make it thicker. 
but this will work for now. I want all this to dry to look this way and then I'll put the ghee over it and then I'm going to flip it over and cover it. I'm going to reduce that heat just I don't want anything to burn. I want it to cook all the way without burning and it's still thick. If you ever wonder why I always take a lot of breaks because I try <laughs> I try and prevent you from sitting here just watching stuff take you know take a while like this is taking a little bit of time but this I, I thought it was important for you to see exactly what it should look like before you flip that's why I'm not taking a break right now and just letting it do, do its thing You're almost there people now if you see little um, bits and pieces in the milk in the, in the coconut milk that's normally the little cream from the coconut see that oh, it's done a cloth in other words we're gonna let it reduce like thicken up gonna bubble up and then it's gonna thicken up and then we'll know it's time to turn now I'm gonna kind of check and see what's going on in this back end no it's still not it's not brown at all wait for this to dry Take about a quarter teaspoon of that D and just put it on up over it. See that? I'm using my spatula to do that. Okay. Now I'll use my turner to flip it, and then I'm going to cover it up. Make sure it's nice and even on the pan. There you go. And I'm going to cover it up, and we're going to let it cook till it's nice and brown. And I'll wait for this sauce to get nice and thick. I'm going to drizzle a little bit, like about a quarter cup, at the bottom of this. So when this cooks, when it's the color that I want it to look like, I'm going to kind of use my uh, turner or a fork to gently coat it okay and then when we come back because this is going to take a while I don't want you to sit and watch me make the whole batch so I made sure you saw everything that way you get an idea of what it should look like so when you come back I'm going to serve it up for you and we're going to drizzle that syrup over it and then we're going to taste it all right so we'll see you in a little bit welcome back right before the break I was cooking a kibibi on the stove and then I went ahead and slathered it in that plate that had the syrup the coconut syrup and now I went ahead and served them now just to remind you this can be converted into a gluten-free pancake recipe instead of using the flour in the recipe in the batter and also in the syrup go ahead and use cornstarch but make sure when you're adding the cornstarch in the syrup especially that you add it in while it's still cold before it um, starts to bubble up or you're gonna have lumps in there. Make sure you use a whisk to blend it or you're gonna have lumps in there and you do not want that. Now, it smells incredible. Also another thing, for anything that you may have missed during the video or you feel that you may have missed, I'll include step-by-step -step pictures with instructions on my blog. My blog is www.stellasmeza.blogspot.com And another new development for all the spices I use, all my kitchenware, all my tools, any gadgets you see in the kitchen that you like, I have now an online store and I will include a link in the description box of this video where you can go and visit and you can find their spices, you can find their food stuff, some of the stuff I cook, so stuff like ghee, lentils, um, rose water, um, anything that you might find hard, difficult to find in the store, any spice, anything at all is going to be on that blog, including these that I love, my pots and pans. I just use these to cook the babies. Did not need soap or anything to uh, clean it up, just water and a soft scoring pad and they slid right off. Love these pots. So if you wanna see that, on my store. All right, without further ado, I'll go ahead and serve these up. Now remember I mentioned that they're supposed to be slightly darker than the regular pancake, like the uh, buttermilk pancake that you see served up in the uh, restaurant and that's what they should look like they're all slathered up these are very soft and if as you're cooking them you want to keep them um, nice and warm just turn your oven on on warm and you can put them in there as you cook them and just make sure they kind of sit on each other just to retain that heat and moisture 
as you go along so I'll go ahead and serve one up and these are very soft so they break easy what I'm gonna do is I'll just cut a piece off the edge and I'm gonna taste that and the rest we're gonna eat for brunch my family and I very very soft as you can see come to mama mm -hmm. all right and then you left me making the um syrup and this is a consistency you want you see that thick so you let it kind of reduce you don't want it as thin as a coconut milk but you want it slightly thick I'm just going to dribble drizzle that the end, and we're going to take a taste and see what we got oh, the house smells incredible so soft so soft mm. Man, that is good, especially that syrup wood. Not too sweet, and the texture, it's very, it's not like a, a pancake that you eat, like a buttermilk pancake, much softer, very, very soft. And the taste, the flavors are incredible. You can taste the um, flavor of the cardamom coming through in there. The coconut just takes it to a different level. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. See that? That's what it should look like. Tasty, very, very tasty. So you don't have to feel like you're missing out if you're on a gluten-free diet. There's hope, okay? If you want to keep it the original recipe, the way we do it authentically, we add all-purpose flour. But if you're gluten-free, use um, cornstarch instead, okay? So I hope you enjoy these. Just another taste of my country, Kenya. And I hope you join me next time as I take your taste buds on another culinary safari. And I wonder where we're going to go next. So join me to find out. Take care and have a great weekend.